Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. Thank you for watching my channel. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below. And right next to it is the bell notification. Hit that bell. I try to upload my videos weekly, and if you do so, you'll be the first to be notified. Also, if you want to visit my website, www.totalhealthdepage.com, in the upper right hand corner in the functional medicine slot, if you want to hit that button and schedule a free 15 minute consultation with me, please feel free to do so. My time is limited. Now with this video, I get a lot of people asking me about statin medications, how they work, what is wrong, what's the deficiency that it causes. So enjoy the video. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm gonna answer a question about cholesterol medications. Do they really work and what is the main side effect of taking a statin medication? Now, to answer the first question, do they really work? Yes, they do. They, it's a multi-billion dollar industry and they work by lowering cholesterol. However, the flip side is it actually increases your chances of heart disease. So with, when, when, you're, when a doctor prescribes you a statin medication, okay, the one main thing that's happening is that it's causing a deficiency of what's called CoQ10. Now I've done previous videos on coenzyme CoQ10. It's a phenomenal supplement. It's important for cellular energy, especially in the heart, in the liver, and the brain. Now the question is always, well, how long does this deficiency, how long is, will this deficiency occur? I don't know. It could be six months, it could be a year. A lot of times with my patients when they're experiencing muscle aches and pains, they've been on a cholesterol medication for some time. Sometimes they've been on two medications, okay? So what happens is that you get a CoQ deficiency. This is where you get muscle aches and pains. This is where you get brain fog. This is also too where you get to damage to the liver. So you get the muscle and nerve damage, otherwise known as neuropathy, okay? So then after a while you get, because the cellular energy is being zapped and you feel fatigued in muscle aches and pains, you don't feel like exercise. You actually loathe exercising, okay? You feel you're too fatigued to exercise because it hurts. So then what happens, now you have weight gain. And then with the weight gain, you have the increase of blood sugar, okay? Now you have the weight increase of blood sugar, now you have increased risk of, of being a diabetic, of being more insulin resistant. And you can see here, this is a double-edged sword. Because when you're increased risk of being a diabetic, you have more fatigue, you don't feel like exercising, and again, it increases the blood sugar. So then what happens, they get you on medication number two, okay? They get you on a diabetes medications, typically metformin. Now what happens, metformin has a side effect. Okay, so now you're getting hit twice. It's two times. Metformin causes CoQ10 deficiency as well. So now you're going through this nice little cascade here. Because now your CoQ10 is being depleted and depleted and depleted. Remember, CoQ10 is important for cellular energy. It's good for your brain, it's good for your liver, it's good for your muscles. So then what happens, since you don't feel like exercising and you get fatigued, then, I'm just gonna draw it over here, now you're increasing your risk of blood, increased blood pressure. And because now you become more insulin resistant, now you're increasing your cholesterol. So then you go back to your doctor and say, my cholesterol is increasing, what's going on? And then they put you on maybe an increased dosage or they may put you on another cholesterol medication. Okay, so you can see how this is cyclic and it all circulates right around CoQ10. Okay, so then my recommendation is, so what do you do? My recommendation is, again, if you're gonna be on, if you're going to be on a statin medication, okay, whatever the doses is, just add a zero to it. So if you're on 10 milligrams of a statin medication, add another zero. That's the minimal amount that you need of CoQ10 to help combat these effects. Or I always recommend to my patients, like, let's change your lifestyle. What is causing all this stuff? Okay, maybe we need to change up your lifestyle. Get rid of the GMO foods, get rid of the wheat, the gluten, the sugar, the alcohol, the soy, the dairy. That alone will help stabilize the body. And also exercise. Let's get you exercising. If you can't go to the gym, let's get you walking. If you can't walk two blocks, let's, uh, let's walk one block. The benefits of exercise is vast. It helps control blood sugar because we store blood sugar in our liver and muscles. 
So when you're exercising, you're helping utilize those blood sugars and you're becoming less insulin resistant, okay? And now also too, with the cholesterol, you're stabilizing your cholesterol, all with diet modification and lifestyle. Because what's gonna happen if you go to the medical doctor, every, every single prescription drug that they're gonna give you, it's gonna have side effects. Okay, so I hope this helps explain a little bit. Again, when you take a statin, it depletes the CoQ10. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Be Hello good. Hello, this is Dr. Jawad. Hey, it's, over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it, the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos. And thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.